Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, back with another Tabletop Showcase. And today we got Fergie Jenkins from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I think he was the first Canadian elected into the Hall of Fame for baseball. And I finally finished his run uh, over the last few weeks. Fergie's always had a soft spot in my heart because he played uh, and had some great years with the Rangers over his career. So let's look at his cardboard career. You'll see I have a ton of his autographs, uh, like 40 something total. In fact, I had left a stack over there because I didn't even want to put them in the video. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to bore these guys with Fergie autographs, but let's look at his cards. Uh, first off, his great rookie card, 1966 tops. I've actually that got this off to him right now to be TTM'd. Uh, he's a great TTM signer. I think he's 20 bucks and I want to get this rookie card done. So that's on its way to Fergie right now. Uh, his 67 and 68 Cubs cards. Obviously his early career success was with the Cubs. You'll see a lot of those cards. I also have a 68 signed. Uh, the last one I got to finish the run was actually this 69 here. I got that uh, in the mail a couple of weeks ago. So that was awesome. Uh, 70, 71. The 71, I also have a signed one. I don't have his whole run signed, but pretty close. And that's something I'll be looking to kind of finish up over the next little bit. You got 72, 73, still with the Cubs, and an autographed version of the 73. Then you've got uh, 74, he starts his Rangers years. <laughs> I guess they didn't have a picture of him with the Rangers hat on, so they, <laughs> this little headshot, you know, see that a lot with tops. And uh, yeah, some good grades on his stuff too. Lots of eights and nines and even the 70s stuff, so. 75, I love that card. Uh, I don't know why the colors work for me. It shouldn't with yellow and red, but it does. Uh, here's 76. He actually has a 76 tops traded, which I don't really consider the traded cards as part of my Hall of Famer runs, but I happen to have one signed. Fergie brings fastball to Fenway. So Fergie in the late 70s spent a couple years with the Red Sox. 76 and 77, there's uh, his 77 card, regular and signed. 78, regular and signed. But he actually pitched the 78 season with the Rangers. And it, it's interesting, the 78 Burger King has him with the Rangers. So that's a, kind of a quirky thing that I have. I have some different stuff beyond just regular tops for Fergie, just because I like him. There's his 79 tops and a mint nine regular and signed. And back when I was buying these, I mean, Mint 9 and a 79 Tops Fergie Jenkins was cheap, you know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. It wasn't expensive like it would be in a day. Uh, his 80 Tops, regular and signed. That signed one I actually got, this was actually what started me on Hall of Fame. That autograph, Fergie Jenkins, $20 at a Rangers event got me started on Hall of Fame autographs because I said, you know, I wonder how many I can get for 20 bucks. I mean, how cool would that be? Uh, then you got an 81 Fleer star sticker. I loved those when I was a kid. Just thought they were awesome. And some other 81 stuff signed, a couple of Fleer cards, uh, a Donruss card, his tops, 81 regular and signed. And that is a serious chaw he's got in his mouth, too. 82, regular and signed. 83, regular and signed. He's got a super veteran card in 83. Oops. And then, uh, of course, his 84, last tops card, back with the Cubs, like he was in 83, regular and signed. And then the obligatory... Perez Steel Hall of Fame postcard. So there you go. That is it for Mr. Fergie. Love completing these player runs. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good one. Keep collecting.